it's okay because either it'll get done or it won't get done and either way is okay. Here's a sneak peek at my kiwi vines that I'm trying to propagate. <laughs> this is the best when all the leaves are still nice and green. The bugs haven't completely annihilated my plants yet. It's a good time here in the garden. I see another squash bug. Awful. You're so awful. Oh, oh my God, that bee scared me. I squashed the squash beetle. I leave for three days and this is already not good. <laughs> Has this happened to anybody else? Can you tell me? What, what did I do wrong here? It's the early part of July and we just got back from a weekend trip away. And I haven't been out to the garden in a few days. We're gonna see together what it looks like. I'm a little excited. I've been anxiously wondering what's been going on with my garden, even though it's, you know, just growing. So here's what the garden looked like a few days ago and it was growing pretty good. I actually, I was able to harvest a zucchini and a couple turnips, peas and green beans and we got some berries. That was a few days ago. And now we are gonna come out here and see what it looks like today. Oh no, my broccoli. Oh, that sucks. It looks like it flowered. and then it just kind of flopped over. Has this happened to anybody else? This was the first time I've actually gotten to the point where um, it looked like that. Usually they die way before this stage, so I'm not sure what happened. Has this happened to anybody else? Can you tell me? What, what did I do wrong here? Oh, that's unfortunate. I think I'll try cutting this off and see what happens. But I'm hoping that we get maybe some more shoots in here. But our eggplants are looking really good. This one's the Black Beauty eggplant. And then that one's a Rosita. And these two, whatever one starts to look better is the one that will stay. But this one's a Diamond eggplant. I've replaced that one a few times. We've got some cabbage with cabbage worms. So I need to freaking take care of that. I leave for three days and this is already not good. <laughs> Our green stock, the dill looks nice. The green beans are doing good in it. I've harvested all the arugula and basil out of it. I've got to start some new stuff in there. Couple spoon tomatoes in here too. San Marzano tomatoes, more tomato plants. Looks like they've tripled in size since in just a few days. Those are the subarctic plenty tomatoes. Those started putting tomatoes on early. I've got a lot of lettuce I need to harvest. And this cabbage is looking good. I need to get these protected. I have just bought a bunch of netting. So I need to get the brassicas figured out. Here is our radishes. I let it go to seed and Mandamu told me that we can eat the seed pods. So I'm curious to try those because I've never done that before. I've got some green beans. These ones are the Tender Green Improved from Fairy Morris. We're supposed to be getting a lot of rain, so I'd like to get out here this week and get some more seeds in the ground so that we can succession plant these. There's more green beans in here. The label's gone. So I just looked at my garden notes. I think these are the Blue Lake 274 Bush Garden Bean from Fairy Morse. Look at all those. And these are the Provider Bush Snap Bean from Fruition Seeds. Here's how our Royal Burgundy beans are doing. Oh, I see a little bean growing. They produce a purple bean, and then when you cook them up, they turn green like green beans, but. They're really pretty in the garden. Pepper plants grew quite a bit. Those are our hot peppers over there. The peas are looking sad. I have a bunch of them on here. These ones I'm saving for seed. They're huge. There was another big one in here. Yeah, this one. So I just have to trace back 
where they're coming from. Hopefully we'll be able to save some of the seeds. It doesn't look like there's a lot on here to pick fresh to eat, but we'll see what we get. The sweet pepper bed. The mystery cucumber. Looks like squash beetles have already been here. Squash beetles in here. Here they are. I squashed the squash beetle. Okay, this is our cucumber bed. And you see little cucumbers. Got all kinds of different varieties. I see another squash bug. They're awful. You're so awful. Oh, oh my God, that bee scared me. It looks like these are mostly pickling over here just different varieties. And it looks like they're starting to grow. Oh, there's one. They're growing. This is the best when all the leaves are still nice and green. Nothing's diseased yet. Everybody's happy. The bugs haven't completely annihilated my plants yet. It's a good time here in the garden. It's another subarctic plenty tomato. Over here we have blueberries. Oh boy. I gotta go get a smaller container for those. I've been getting like a little bit here and there. But I try and get them as soon as they ripen. Birds don't get them. And these are all Amish paste tomatoes. I've been pruning them just to keep it neat so that it doesn't get crowded and critters can't hide underneath all the leaves. So I keep it pruned up pretty good. We have onions and our shallots and garlic. I think I'll do a harvest with me either this week or next week of the shallots and garlic. And we can see together what those look like. My one parsnip that's growing. Oh, it looks like that one didn't make it. I have a couple more in here underneath the cucumber trellis. These are the early prolific straight neck squash from Baker Creek. I've been hand pollinating these. One of my zucchini plants had all male flowers and then some of them had all female. So I came out here and I, I hand pollinated them. Those are carrots and the Virginia peanuts. This is a purple rain tomato. This is, seems like an excellent variety for containers, this purple rain. I believe it's a determinant. I could be wrong. I'll have to look at the seed packet, but they seem to do really well on containers. And these are our potatoes. I'm gonna have to harvest all of these too. We've had a lot of rain and we're gonna be getting even more rain this week. So hopefully there's a break where I'll be able to come out and harvest all these because these were getting eaten. There was these worms all over the leaves. I cut them all out before we left for our trip, but they, they're not looking so great. Here we have gray zucchini, cocozel. This is um, an early prolific straight neck squash. And then we have golden zucchini, more container plants with weeds. Another subarctic plenty tomato. These are getting eaten up by something. <sighs> so annoying. More carrots. Oh boy. Oh yay. A zucchini. This one's the Black Beauty Zucchini from my gardener. Green Machine Zucchini from High Mowing. And again, these were all hand pollinated. These are the two Dollar Tree plants. That one's a um, a yellow squash and this one is zucchini oh boy and this is another green machine look at all these i harvested off this plant already i love this time of year i did transplant pumpkins too i have the large ones on the outside hopefully i'll be able to remember the varieties <laughs> All right, and then this is the winter density lettuce from, I believe, M.I. Gardener. And it looks like it's starting to bolt a little bit, some of these, so we're gonna harvest them up. I've noticed when I harvest them, they get kind of wilty. So I wash them and soak them in water right away 
and get them cut up and into a bag into the fridge and they crisp back up really nicely. And then they last for, lasted like a week. This variety of pumpkin is called State Fair Winner and it was originally from M.I. Gardner, but two years ago from the M.I. Gardner seeds, we grew a 65 pound pumpkin and I saved the seeds. I have a few plants growing now around the garden. So we'll see if we're able to get another one this year. We also have two Atlantic Giant pumpkins growing there. Here are the kiwi berry vines. I see one kiwi berry in there. I had so many of them in here and the day I came out here to put the net on, I found a lot of them had been shaken off onto the ground, which was kind of upsetting. So I don't know how many we're actually gonna be getting, but we'll see. Here's the strawberry bed. I have to come through here, lay down all new landscape fabric because the crab grass has completely taken over and the weeds. So lay down all new landscape fabric, mulch, everything, and get this cleaned up the way that it was before. Looks like we have some strawberries growing again in here, which is nice. It looks like I have a tomato plant growing in the middle of the strawberry bed. We're gonna let it go and we're gonna see what happens. I see some flowers in here, which is good. Lots of runners, so we're gonna pull that out. But I don't see any red strawberries. I have a Lady Godiva squash on the end here. I have pumpkins transplanted randomly in different areas of the garden. And what I'll do is I'll trail them on the outside. Um, that's worked really well for us in the past because we obviously we don't have like a whole lot of space dedicated for growing pumpkins. Behind the strawberries, we have wild black raspberries. These are not blackberries and they're delicious. And it's the first year we've seen them growing like this. So we've been harvesting them. They look like that. As soon as they fall off, we harvest them. Here is how the green bean trellis is looking. That's the greenhouse with all kinds of plants that are in desperate need of water. Some raspberries or blackberries. I'm not sure which ones are which. I have to look back at my old videos to see what I planted where because the labels are just gone. And then these are dragon tongue bush beans and Jacob's cattle bean. And we have asparagus and a couple more pumpkins over there. But I need to get some water in the greenhouse and then we'll see what we harvested. Oh, I also have these marigolds and some ground cherries. Still things that need to be planted. Here's a sneak peek at my kiwi vines that I'm trying to propagate. <laughs> Those are the ones I put directly in soil and I try and keep it from drying out. And then these are the ones I have in just water. I will be doing a whole separate video on it. One morning glory that seeded itself from last year that I've been pruning it back so that it doesn't go crazy. And it looks like we've got flowers on it. They're so pretty. Okay, so here's what we harvested. We've got blueberries, wild black raspberries, and one lonely strawberry. The green machine zucchini from High Mowing Organic Seeds, the black beauty zucchini from M.I. Gardener, and then we have a whole bunch of winter density lettuce also from M.I. Gardener, tender green improved bush garden bean from Fairy Morse, provider bush garden bean from Fruition Seeds, and then these ones are the Blue Lake 274 bush garden bean from Fairy Morse. These are the mammoth melting snow peas from M.I. Gardener. I have so much work to do out here, it's okay because either it'll get done or it won't get done. And either way is okay. But I really need to clean up. I have all of these garden pots everywhere. All my 1020 trays and everything are under there, probably full of all kinds of creatures. That'll do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.